Okay, guys, quick video. Uh, this is a 2019, I believe, uh, a Tesla Model 3. And this Tesla uh, developed um, annoying sound like quick, 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 quick when you uh, turn your steering. So I was trying to trace the sound, the noise um, with these, usually these working pretty well. But in this case, I, I couldn't figure where the noise is coming from. It had to be some kind of joint. Um, but the, the noise transfers everywhere and everywhere I probe, noise is there. So it, I, I wasn't able to find the noise with this, but fortunately what I did, this is the upper control arm. I put a pry bar between the, right in here, right in this joint between the spindle um, and this upper control arm and created a tension. There was no uh, uh, movement at all, but um, apparently there is a tiny, tiny uh, gap developed between the bowl and the cap. There, again, there is, there is no movement but there's this, this annoying sound and as I created uh, that tension sound disappeared. So I am pretty sure this is the problem. Uh, if you have this same annoying sound and if you trace it down to this, get it from the dealer. It's $80 from the dealer and it's $240 from eBay. So let's get it changed real quick and let's uh, make sure this is the problem. Okay guys, so uh, let me show you what, our, what we are going to do. We are going to remove this bolt right here. Uh, let me see what you're seeing. Uh, well, it's kind of dark, but hopefully you can see. We're gonna remove this bolt right here. We're gonna remove these uh, retainers for this uh, uh, speed sensor line or cable. Um, there is no way we can remove this uh, upper control arm without removing the bracket in which it uh, sits um, simply because the bolts are not going to come out. So we're going to have to remove everything up front, remove this tray so we can get to the strut tower. And uh, then we will replace this upper control arm and put everything back together. So let's get to it. Well, guys, um, unfortunately, um, we're going to have to disconnect uh, strut as well um, because uh, uh, strut is pushing this bracket up into the uh, strut tower. And uh, I was able to pull one bolt out from this uh, upper control arm, but I can't do the other side. And uh, I feel like I have only two bolts left on the strut to make this job easier, so I, I'll probably go this route. So we're gonna have to disconnect the strut. Um, so, yeah. Woo. All right, we're out. Uh, you have to be very careful. There's plenty of uh, um, speed sensor wire or cable, but there's a tension on the uh, brake line. So keep an eye on the brake line so you don't uh, develop any leaks or don't, any, don't do any damage. Okay, so we are basically out. There's an old control arm. It moves freely but there is no movement maybe a tiny tiny movement on the ball joint so 
Let's put a uh, new one in. The new part bolt joint is very tight. We like to see that. So let's put it in. But we are not gonna tie them until everything is bolted. And uh, I'll show you in a little, in a minute. Okay guys, my camera feels like it's too hot to film and I don't blame it. Um, what I actually did, I, um, let me show you. Okay, the first thing I did is connected th this uh, strut um, with the bracket. It's actually held by four bolts. One, two, there is a third one and there is a fourth one right there. So I was able to hold it with one hand and tie this first bolt. Then I used a jack underneath the control arm and uh, I was able to start three other bolts. And once I got all four bolts on, I aligned the bottom bolt for the strut, which is 21, number 21. These right here is number 13 and number 15. So once I got strut bolt started, I was able to, well, I was always able to do this one. This one is an easiest one. Uh, this right here is, let me see is number 50, star uh, socket. So uh, this right here is number 13. And uh, I have all bolts uh, tie, tied right now, but those two number 13 bolts for actual upper control arm. And in order to tie those bolts, we have to raise suspension up in uh, into like a riding position and I know this is not the greatest idea by far but this is what I have right now and uh, it's just quick and dirty so I'm gonna raise it a little bit more to when I start hearing uh, that you know the, the car is lifting off this jack um, and that's when I'm gonna tie those last two bolts Right about there, I feel like it's gonna, if I go any further, it's gonna jump off the jack and we don't wanna do that. So number 13 and uh, we're gonna tie these last two bolts. Okay, uh, we're just gonna put everything back together and see if it solved the problem. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, the noise is gone. Uh, the noise was appearing when you do uh, your turn. It was like quack, quack, quack. And right now it's gone, completely gone. It was only under load if you lift your car up 
and uh, trying to duplicate the noise, it, it won't work. It, it would have to be, the car would have to be on the ground uh, and wiggling back and forth would make that noise. Yep, it's completely gone. All right, guys, uh, stick around. If you enjoy videos like that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that uh, bell notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified and you don't miss uh, any future videos. So stick around.